Hello and welcome to Spotlight, and this week we are here to answer one question. What the fuck is Devolverland XPO? <laughs> Wait, hang on. I, I recognise that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> that's, a, that's our new intro. Is, uh, <laughs> that no one's ever done before. No one's ever done that in the history of biscuits. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't. So, Devolver Digital's conference was yesterday. I haven't watched it yet. Um, but I thought no, it'd be really funny. No, no, no. All I saw was that they posted that they've put out a game and it's like seven gigabytes. And also like the Stranger Things music's playing in the background. I don't know if that's a thing. But yeah. Um it's very creepy. Yeah, I looked at it and I was like, it almost looks like a horror game and I was like, Well, I like playing horror games with Tony, so Is that the Revolver Digital Z there? The Get into the building. That's game. my current objective, I think. So I guess the devol the the expo was cancelled because of the Rona, and um, <laughs> I guess this is what's happening now. Doors locked. Oh, okay. Blow the t Oh, I got an achievement. Master electri electrocution. Electrician. Sorry, not electrocution. That'd be an interesting one. I don't know. I think. Yeah, I thought it, I, I thought it'd be stuff, funnier right? if we went if we, if I hadn't seen the Devolver Digital conference and we just went straight to this oh. game that I saw. Oh, this is cool. Oh, okay, it's just the text. Just... Is that ray tracing? I kind of I don't that. think so. I think it's like fake ray tracing. Yeah. The future. So let's have a look around. I guess it. Oh, so here's Sludge Life. This was the epic. This was the game that they published that went straight to the Epic Games Store for free for a year, and then yeah. isn't going to be free? <laughs> After the year, yeah, I don't understand. What the? It sounds like a bomb. Yeah. Should I go towards it? It's security! Oh, oh, fuck! Don't go towards security! They don't like me in here! Oh fuck! <laughs> I just wanted to look around at the games. I'm sorry. Why? When, since when do you have drones at expos? This is the future oh, games. God. The future of games is here for the future. Oh, oh god, there's more of them. There's a red one. I was just gonna look at the booth. It's for Fall Guys. Teletubbies. Dude, I'm actually kind of hyped for Fall Guys. It actually looks pretty fun. It's like Total Wipeout. Oh, really? It's like Total Wipeout okay. Battle Royale and. The objective is you just keep running through obstacle courses until there's only one person left. Oh, it's actually... Oh, Carry On's pretty cool. I like that game. Oh, yeah, yeah, But we, we, we have a spot out on the demo of that. Attendees yeah. are reminded that exhibitor merchandise is off-limits. Merchandise is off-limits? Wait, what? Saying so. I got the gun, I got the gun. I got a merch cannon! I got a t-shirt cannon! To fight the security. The what? Is that gonna help? I thought this isn't gonna help. No, I, I hit one, I hit one. What does it do? Is that it's damaging the thing. This is like it stops it, it. I think it might be like disabling them. Yeah. I don't know if I can actually kill them. High five! Wait, can I put a t shirt on this dummy? I can put a t shirt on this dummy. <laughs> this game's amazing. Wow, well, I need. There's probably an achievement for putting um, T-shirts and all the mannequins. I bet you, because there's achievements coming up. Yeah, and if you're not <laughs> staff only. Hey, two. This door's locked. Somewhere I can hit this button. Yes. Crack shot. Hello. Smiley face. Very creepy in Expo Hall when there's no one here, isn't it? Just like a big open space. Yeah. Uh, it's like a school one at night. That looks like a fucking terrifying one. That one looks huge. I got, I got a pass. I got a pass. <laughs> I'm credited. Something like credit described like a big bee or something. Oh, he's pretty big. I want to put a t-shirt on this mannequin. No! Can I not put... 
put one on that mannequin? I've got the t-shirt cannon. I think this mannequin is a t-shirt proof. Is he turning? Oh my god. I, rec I think I was just trying to get Where credentials. Because I don't think I can go any further than this. I just went to security. And I think my objective was to get um, over there so I can get to the main hall maybe. Where I guess Nina Struthers right. is going to be. Fingers crossed. I still find it so funny that when they were showing all the developers um, for the PS5 reveal event, they had all the Sony. At they showed off all the Sony developers, and then Devolver Digital just put forward Nina Struthers, who, if you don't know, isn't actually a developer at Devolver Digital. She's an actress who plays the character in the Devolver Digital press conference. The Devolver were just like, yeah, we're just going to troll Sony. Nina Struthers, our uh, best developer over at uh, Devolver <laughs> Digital. Yeah. So I think I can get into the South Hall now. I kind of wanted to have a look around a little bit. There's some sort of glove they're showing off. The future is now. Shall I try and have a look around a bit more? It's pretty dark. Yeah. The cafe. Dude, I'm getting such... I said like earlier, like the music. I'm getting such Stranger... If you've seen Stranger Things Season 3, which I don't think you have, you would be getting the same vibes Ooh. as me. That's good. Okay. A lot of, a lot of Stranger well, Things Season... Sure have, a lot of uh, Stranger Things Season 3 is set in a mall, like a big American shopping mall, and it's very much like this. Oh, right. Yeah. Alright, let's go in the South Hall. I got the credentials to get to the Devolver Digital Conference. Trespassing is not permitted. Deviation will be G-Force RTX. RTX! <laughs> Told you. RTX technology. Explore the Carrion booth <laughs> or the Wild West booth. Oh. Powered by Turing. They always, with the fucking RTX stuff, they always show off like, robots and shit. Look at the technology. Bunch of fucking wires, dude. Mm. It's not the most epic music I've ever heard. It's just the graphics gone. Yeah. Try, Try X hard. harder. Oh what my the god. What the fuck's going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> this is the carrion yeah, booth. Oh no. Oh god! <laughs> Dude, the carrion booth is terrifying. Look, just go in, it's fine. Don't worry Dude, about it. Dude, do you know, it. like, um, Fortnite have started doing, like, uh, virtual, like, music concerts? Yeah. I actually think it's really cool stuff like that, like a virtual, um, convention center where you can, you can do way more stuff and make it way, like, I think interactive experiences like this could actually, I, I love this sort of stuff, so, I'd love to see some yeah. more sort of stuff like this. Can I actually get killed by this? I think it's an animatronic, Tony. I don't think it's a. Uh, it, obviously, we're, we're, we're at the Devolver Digital Show, so it's just an animatronic, you know. Yeah. Watch the carry on. Tra oh, I have to watch the trailer, do I? How do I? Ah, okay. So this is how they're showing off their trailers. I guess I guess we'll watch these. We've done a spotlight on it, but I think this might be a new trailer. Yeah. This game's really fun, by the way. If. If you ever wanted to know what a reverse horror game is, it's where you play as the this monster the and uh, kill everyone. Yeah, this is a very good one. <laughs> this is way more creepy than the other trailer for this game. Yeah. Kind of the prototype of a uh, platform. Yeah, I guess prototypes kind of like a reverse horror game. Yeah. You get to play as a giant tentacle monster. Wait, did he turn into a, like a person and then like explode back into a monster? Wonder if that's like an ability you can get. Sounds like a prototype thing to me. July twenty third. Marketing objective complete. We did it.
<laughs> so I guess I'm mostly going to be watching trailers from now on. And online. That's okay. Oh, this is Wild West. This is Weird West, sorry. Uh, Wild Wild West. Will Smith. Hello. Oh, this is cool. um this is made by uh Rafi I think. Who is the um if you don't know, he's one of the co founders of um he's one of the co founders of uh Wait there's four items from unannounced games hidden here? I just found a teacup. He's uh what's the dishonored game? I'm blanking on it. Uh, Arc, Arc Fatalis, Prey. What's the name of that company? Arcane Studios. He's one of the co founders of Arcane Studios. Oh, right, right. that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Right. This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director and president of Wolf Eye Studios. And I'm here I recognize today his French to tell accent. You about our game <laughs> development. <laughs> I recognize that accent anyway. At its core, Weird West is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. You play through the adventures of five heroes that have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries yeah, I, of the Yeah, I saw West. the trailer for this actually on the podcast, I think. While we describe Weird West as an action RPG, some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. Yeah, there he's making an. Elements that sit you know the guys who make immersive sims. RPG They're making it. And it he's gone and made a different immersive sim. Now. An action immersive sim. Yeah. First, the simulation and sandbox nature. I don't. Know, I, I don't really the the fully understand the immersive sim. Genre? So simulation is like a religion to us. It is in our I DNA guess it's kind of like. It's kind of like an RPG. It's kind of like an RPG. And many playthroughs. It's Whether kind of like combat, a game that lets you or a shoot, of a change lash. the you game based on how you want to play as an immersive sim. In a so a game that has different world. builds, has different endings, different ways to play, Next, that's an immersive sim. The setting and the so a game, okay. a game like um, so Deus Ex. I guess there's most RPGs. I guess it's yeah, a most RPGs have that. Right? that has been but like Skyrim, that's not an immersive sim, for example. But it is an RPG. Why? Why is it not an immersive sim? Is it not? Does, does the game change in Skyrim based on how you play? Aren't all the quests the same? Are, yeah. Don't all the no, quests have the same ending? The stories that like, you can... No. They are legitimately quests that like, have different endings that actually okay. change the world. I'm not saying it's good, but they actually okay. do change the world. Most RPGs have that sort of system where like, you make a decision on something that completely changes the rest of the world. I don't know. I, I just don't really understand the, the, the difference. It's in a normal RPG. Um, yeah, I think there is a slight difference. I think it's just more yeah, just, like Bloodline the Masquerade. So that's like an immersive sim. Yeah, is it just like a more extreme RPG in a sense? Like a more... Um, Choice, really. the, I think um, the, the idea of the immersive sim is you get immersed into the world because of how much control you have over it. Yeah. Yeah. Would like a CR, Would a CRPG be like an immersive sim? What's a CRPG? Uh, a choice RPG. Like the whole idea is you could have good voice actors, you can, but everything's text based, and like every decision changes everything. Yeah, that's a bit different. Like I wouldn't say Telltale games are a CRPG. No, 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 no. no, I wouldn't it's say they like, are an immersive sim because you don't. The thing with like it's the original sim, though. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. The, like, the I just feel this is like a new genre that I don't understand at all. Immersive oh. sim's not a new genre. It's been around longer than a lot of other genres. I guess, but I've never really heard it before. I feel like it's got a resurgence. Is it? And please stay tuned for future news. It's got a resurgence from Arcane Studios and Rafi because they yeah. have a massive sense. This is Rafi Arcolantonio, creative director and president of Wolf Eye Studios. Oh, I thought, okay. Get out. You guys are just playing with his band over here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got anything to do with us? Oh. 
proceed to the next hall. Oh, what the fuck is this? I press... How do I... Oh, it's a puzzle? I have to make boxes. Okay. What? <laughs> Okay. There's like a little little uh, puzzle. It's, this game's in a massive sim thing. Yeah, choices. Who the hell is this Nina Struthers, the robot. You don't remember Nina Struthers, uh, the robot, at the end of the last Devolver Digital yeah, 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 thing? Yeah. Didn't she? She like died. And if you don't know the lore yeah. of the Devolver Digital conferences, uh, Nina Struthers, I think, was murdered and then brought back to life as like a Terminator robot. Yeah, the uh, the Volvo Cinematic Universe. So I found a book for an unannounced game. Interesting. Where know. where is the next? I've uh, gone through an exit. Where's the next hall? This way, North Hall. Oh god, here we go. Oh, good luck. Ah, sh busted. Busted. Oh, you can crap. <laughs> Oh god, I just... Oh my god, there's more fun. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's get... To... Oh god, you can slide in this game? You can slide, look. Oh my god. What's with the... What's with the anime... Oh my so god. So you know that you're sliding, Tony, come on. <laughs> oh my... Good. Fucking good god. Luck. Try to jump. Okay, good. Go in the bath. Doc, are you in here? People are looking for you since you got banned from Twitch. Doc! But you can use it. Use the toilet. Yeah, it just opens them up. Yeah. Doc! Damn, nothing in there. Ah, shit. <laughs> I feel like this is impo- Oh, hang on. I can shoot the, uh... The thing. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be trying- Am I supposed to hit the button? There we go. Nice. Cool. All right, let's go. 404. Conference not found. <laughs> the Devolver Expo Assembly. So it seems like Flying Wild Hog made a lot of this, maybe? Okay. Flying Wild Hog, if you don't know, are the people who do Shadow Warrior. Um, and of course, we uh, just... Please. Teacup for an unannounced game. Have we skipped a, um, a hall? No, no, no. I'm, we're supposed to be going to the North Hall, but I went to the 404 Hall because it's error not found, of course. Oh, okay. And that's the emergency exit to the... I, kinda I just wanna... feel like we're going towards the end if we keep going in this direction. I kind of feel like we're not supposed to be here, though. Why? Do you not get that? Okay. Uh, you, uh, you know no. the Stanley Parable, and it says go here. And then you find yeah. somewhere you're not supposed to go. Then you kind of just want to go that way. Wait, it says you shall not Yeah, go. but I've... Tony, we literally can't go to the North Hall because it hasn't been made yet. 404 <laughs> not found. Okay, so we I'll do have to go... We, ha go. we have to go this way. Yeah, but I feel like we're... It says proceed to the next hall, but I feel like this isn't the next hall. I don't know. Maybe the next hall is on this path. I don't know. Puzzle Master Air Conditioning. Hang on. 303... 306 so, so 6 Huh? Oh! I don't know. Wait, 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 there's another. 2020. <laughs> 2020. Puzzle Mastermind, Tony. It's as easy as that, really. Just, just read. Yeah, just read. What's the deal with not reading? It's just read. <laughs> Just read, really, yeah. Just, just let out a spell. All right, let's go through these vents, die-hard style. This isn't, this isn't the normal way to get to the expo. No, this will be the normal way in the future. Just uh, die-hard oh, okay. style, crawling through, uh, through some vents. Oh, I can it see, the, I can see the conference hall, Tony. Is that Nina Struthers? Oh God! Inspect oh. the glove of power. Mark 2. Mark 2. <laughs> What's the Mark 1? 
I think Mark 1 they showed off at one of the, um... Yeah. I would say, isn't that like, a, like a, a reference to one of their own things? The Blight Hound booth. Will choose a hero from one of pretty cool. Let's go and watch this. This does look kind of cool, this game. I think... Behold, yeah, this looks like Doc's Dungeon. A cooperative dungeon crawler that yeah, no way. Three heroes to venture down that kind of art style. The, the font is very similar. Of the Blight. Mm. A mysterious and corrupting fog that enshrouds the land. Each player will choose a hero. I think you've seen this before in the podcast as well. Yeah, maybe. I think it's uh, looks cool. Like the idea of a cooperative roguelite is pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of reminds me like of like. As well. Kind of reminds me of like a two uh, D Magicka in a way. Kind of like 2.5, I'm not, I think I, it is? I'm not getting that vibe at all, but okay. I'm getting it, yeah, I don't know. Well, how many, like, co-optive kind of side-scroller kind of 3D it, games it, it, are there? In that sort of sense, I guess, but it's the overall I'm not getting any vibe. It's like 2.5D, kind of? It might be a trine way more than that. I was gonna say trine, it literally yeah. But it's way more com it's way more combat than it's like oh, yeah. no combat and trine. Sort of thing. True. It's it's more it's puzzle. Cup, well, cup to the light bar. That looks pretty cool. I uh it's have cool. to keep an eye on that one. That does look cool. I'll just yeah. keep an eye on that. Marketing objective for last time we Nice. That's a really good way to get people to watch trailers, is to make for, build a game that forces them to watch trailers to complete the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's a weeb game. It also, it also helps the developers to publish really, publish cool really games games interesting in games, game. yeah. Olia. That's how you say it. I, I, was about to call, I was about to call it Olija. Olia. world, home to forgotten creatures. This looks cool. Deep caverns yeah. and rainforest top islands. You are Faraday, a shipwreck yeah. captain. You follow his adventure to rescue his lost crewmen, leading them to I'm a safe not return. I'm a big fan of this art style. So. Really? I don't like this sort of stuff. Like that. Pursuit of salvation. Actually. Faraday is guided it's just very uh, of great gray. Power. It awakens ancient enemies who slumber. I like um, kind of the monolithic, faceless kind of style. Like I'm a big fan of like yeah, um, but... I, I'm a big fan of like uh, Inside, Limbo, that sort of stuff. I, yeah, I like it. This doesn't remind me of that whatsoever, though. Really? It just seems grey. I don't know. Reminds me of Mook Pixel. Do you remember that game? Each land presents Vaguely. new challenges and new opportunities for you. Well, that, that was good animation. That was good animation. Next, yeah, I thought this is one of the games that, that is at the forefront of Olea with visceral systems play. that challenge the way you think about space. You can dash and teleport using the harpoon, and then immediately face. Hand so I like hand the um, the yeah. combat and the animations. That's what I really like about it. Yeah, the animation. I was going to say that as well, actually. I'm just not a big fan of the art style. Dashing and wall jumping, spitting acid, and controlling. Wall jumping. It looks like a. Uh, it might be a Metroidvania. Puzzles complement battle sequence by rethinking movement through a maze like world. Yeah. Five major boss battles uh, in Olea. Is that a minimap we just saw? One introduces a new character story, as well as new combat. There's five boss battles. Seems like it might be a metro By Dania. mastering each attack system, you will take down these bosses and be handsomely rewarded with new areas to explore and new mechanics to unlock. This, okay, this side of trailer reminds me of like a trailer from like 10 years ago. That's really? how the trailer used to be like you show off a, a game and it explains what's happening at the top of it you don't really get that anymore hmm. i kind of like that style actually so that's because those fortnite gamers won't watch that i don't know Olia is an experience i feel like people Olia is a game i have to keep my eye on man i actually quite like the look of that one i don't think i've seen that one before skeleton crew studios we're gonna have to play we're, we're, we're big skeleton fans. Or skeleton you're, a, you're a big skeleton, yeah. Need to rise up. Rise up <laughs> That's a big skeleton, yeah. I guess this is. Playing this game is pretty much like watching the Devolver Digital Conference, so. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot, though. 
Okay, we watched both of these. Doesn't the Volvo like win every conference, which which is the best conference every year as well? You know, like, you remember like Jim Sterling's like winners and losers of um, E3. E3. Yeah. And it's like Volvo Digital's like number one winner. <laughs> Explore Serious Sam Booth, explore Full Guys, explore Shadow Warrior. What's that? Serious Sam, I think? Serious Sam 4? Space Engineers, Space Engineers. Oh, Space Engineers 2! Yeah, Space Engineers 2 and now. There's a Serious. You must be Serious Sam. I must be. It's Crow Team, it's Serious Sam. Yeah, I don't understand. You know, one of the funniest pirated editions of a game um, was like one of the Serious Sam games. If you pirated it, the pirated version had a demon in it that would follow you around and was invincible and he would always chase you trying to kill you. But you couldn't kill him I because he... Sorry? I didn't know if you were complaining, like, oh my god, I can't, why, this, uh, this boss is overpowered, or this, this enemy is overpowered, how am I supposed to stop them? Mm. It's like, you, you can't, you're pirated. You're yep. Only in the pirated version would you get the unkillable demon that keeps chasing you throughout the, the levels. Yeah. I feel like there should be a speedrunning category, though. Unkillable demon, any percent? <laughs> yeah. Probably is, to be honest with you. You get the part of the game. Oh, I wanted to pick like up this. I wanted to pick up this. Trade this gun with the T-shirt cannon. It was awesome. Wait, did we pick up the um the the, the fist glove mark thing? N I can't yeah. yet. I can't yet. Yeah. I'm excited for the full guys one. I'll, the full guys one looks really good. Oh, here we go. Happy little fun land in here. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that hell? actually scared what is me more going than the on? fucking demons. Was this guy popping out? Yeah! <laughs> Yay! This place looks scary. It's a disco party! Nah, this, do, 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 nah, this do, is do, creepy. Do, 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 do. Take me back to the Everyone's stage. falling over! Yes. They're dead! Wait, I can push them over. Let's kill all the fool guys. I'm gonna murder all the fool guys! Get the t-shirt! You get a t-shirt! And you get a t-shirt! And you get a t- I'm fucking Oprah Winfreying them. Yeah. So I'm gonna see what happens if I make all the guys fall. Achievement unlocked. Fall, fall the guys. Maybe? Let's well, see. if I'm the last one standing, I think I win, right? That's how the, it's like a it's like a, a total wipeout battle royale. So. <laughs> That's a very weird way to put it. Okay. That's the best way to put it. I can't murder these guys. Was that a trailer we could watch on the wall? Or was that... Yeah, yeah, that's my objective. I just wanted to see if there was something I can do by murdering all these innocent people. I'm gonna jump or something. People. Oh, I found another unannounced game throughout four. Okay, let's watch the trailer. You'll see what I'm talking about when you see the trailer, Tony. Because I don't, I don't know if you've seen this one. I feel like I, I have. I feel like I understand. That's from what you were doing. Oh my god, this is crazy. Actually, oh, looks shit. really fun. Yeah. It's one of the games I probably wouldn't play myself, though, but I'd watch other people. It's like, a, well, I guess if you don't know, Takashi's Castle is another good description, yeah. or a Ninja Warrior. A Hot Lava is the very popular new Netflix game show that's got like parkour and stuff in it. 
Dude, I, I fucking love Netflix um, game shows they make because it gets streamed on the internet. <laughs> they don't have any TV regulations, so they just do... I'm just like, how the hell are they getting away with this stuff that they're doing on, <laughs> on Netflix? I've not seen anything about it, so you have to, you have to explain. You know, like, the floor oh. is lava? Oh my god, if you pre-order, yeah. you get Gordon Freeman. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Uh, Stumble towards so green. So floor is lava. Oh, okay, so they, you know, like, Total Wipeout? Yeah. They have, like, they've built, like, rooms. Oh, there we go. Whee! They've, they've built, uh, rooms where, um, the floor is, like, water, but I guess it's, like, colored red, so it's, like, lava, and it has, like, jets that come out and spray you and stuff. And then, um, basically right, you have okay. to parkour across it, um, to get to the end of the room. And if someone falls in the lava, they're dead. Sort of thing. And the person who does okay. it the fastest with the most people alive wins. Can't wait for Shadow what Warrior. The hell is this? Shadow Warrior. Oh, this is Shadow Warrior. Yeah. Me and you both own Shadow Warrior 2 and we haven't played it. Yeah. It's multiplayer. I'm I haven't finished Shadow Warrior 1, so Shadow Warrior 1's amazing. I I've finished it, it's great. I uh, know. Oh, this is yeah. beautiful. You can see, you it you is. know that the fucking Shadow Warrior guys made this when their booth looks fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. Dev that's a Devolver yeah, fanboy. Yeah. Goblin. Get Low Wang back. Kind of just want to have a look around the booth. Yeah, the idea of Shadow Warrior, if you can... I'll put the trailer on, I guess. And we can talk about it. The idea is... You get, like, a demon guy powers. It's basically Doom, but instead of demons, it's demons. You are demon. No, it's just still <laughs> yeah. demons, kind of, actually. Yeah, it's like demons, more demons, but you also got a demon inside of you as well, right? Yeah, you I have demon powers. Remember. Because like you have like a but voice it, in your head. It's like thing. very uh, Japanese, so it's very much you know sword combat, ancient yeah. weapons, that sort of stuff. An ancient, ancient Japanese demons what and goblins. What the in fuck this is that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, from playing the first game, it was insanely fun. So. Now the there's a grappling hook because the, uh, there wasn't a grappling hook in the in the first game. I don't think there may have been. No, I, and I don't remember. I think the way they're showing off. I think the way they're showing off it looks like it's a new feature. Because I think they changed the game a lot from the first game to the second game. The first game was very yeah. much small set pieces that put you in like arenas, and then you would keep fighting until you got out of that arena. But then the second game was very much um, co-op multiplayer, more open world with way more RPG kind of borderlandsy kind of loot elements. Yeah, uh, they changed. I remember people like, loved it or hated it, but it looked fun to me either way. So. Marketing guru, achieving a lot. Nice. Take the glove. Wang. <laughs> Before the digital. It's the katana. This shit's cool. I wonder how long they spent on this, because this looks really good. I can use this. Are they locked down for a few months? Dong. We can get the, the, the developer glove of power. Love the power glove. Oh my. You Makes cubes. Oh, he picks stuff up. Okay. Yeah, there was that really, there That's was cool. that really light box in the way that I had to use this glove to make. <laughs> I guess I lost the t-shirt cannon. Oh right. The oh hell? my god, I'm about to fight a transformer. Oh my. Fight the boss. Uh oh. Oh 
my god, it's, it's a Team Mutant Ninja Turtle boss. He's shooting oh, t-shirts at me. I've got to shoot these t-shirts back. Minus a hundred. Minus a hundred. <laughs> Minus fifty from the discs. About the t-shirt. Oh, I can see his bar at the bottom. He's quite tanky, this guy. What the flip is that? Okay, I don't want to get hit by that, I don't think. The phase two. Bombs are the best. Give me more bombs, please. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, that's the laser phase. That's so evil. I don't. What did I even do to this guy? Oh. Uh, um. I think you defiled his. You entered his X files. I defiled his X files. Yeah. Oh. Come on, buddy. Give me some more explosives. Oh, he's so close. I'm gonna go into a mega mode. These discs are firing at me. He's running out of faces on his screen, so. That's how you know. Why don't you have that? I got him, I got him, I got him. I just said that. Expo Pro. Achievement unlocked. Now we can get to the exit. It's as easy as that. Get the F out of there. Just showing me the uh, Stranger Things music. I have no control over this at the moment, I don't think. It looks like a web page. Okay, there we go. So I, gu I guess they were doing See, a parody of like. Yeah, I think that was like a parody of like Stranger Things season three. Yeah. But yeah, that nice. is the Volverland Expo. That was really cool. I'd like to see. Well, I think yeah. Devolver is probably the only E3 conference that would release a fucking Stranger Things horror <laughs> game kind of parody thing. So. Yeah. yeah. That's the end of Spotlight. Goodbye. Bye.